what did you make of that? Your name came up. She obviously dismissed you out of hand. Well, a couple of things came. First, uh, first of all, I thank Zach Galifianakis for putting me on the show. I'm a big fan of his. Secondly, uh, I'm a little concerned that Hillary Clinton even knows who I am. Uh, and it seems that now I'm on the Clinton radar screen, and that's a place I really don't want to be because people tend to disappear uh, around the Clintons that don't agree with them. All right, so, so obviously sort of, you're not sort of happy with the attention sort of you're getting. Sword, you know? <laughs> but you know you got excoriated post the convention, a lot of stuff you said, yeah. you're pretty blunt, you speak your mind. Has it yeah. hurt you in, in, in the Hollywood community, what the stuff you said? I mean, people who know you and have known you for years, this is not surprising them. They know you're passionate about this sort of stuff. But um, uh, did you lose any deals, any endorsements, any special contract as a result? Not that I'm aware of. I'm, I'm, I haven't done anything in a couple of years, Neil, only because I don't want to. I don't feel like doing anything. I've You're that since wealthy. Nine... I admire that, Scott. Uh, hey, whatever. You know, I'm working since I'm nine years old. I've got, I've got a, I, and people, and you know, the funny, the thing that people tell me is this. Well, Bayo can't get a job. And I, so, and my, and my thought is, and which is true, is, man, I've got an eight-year-old daughter to raise. I've got a wife with a brain tumor. Okay, so there's more important things in my life than my career. And one of the, you know, it's my wife and my kid, and it's getting Donald Trump elected president, Neil. Are you worried on the latter that that might not happen, that between the tax woes and now people are looking into his charitable foundation, that they're not letting up and, and they're going to keep pounding? And that some of this is because he's added to it, either talking about a beauty contestant's weight or what have you, that he's gotten off message, and now this is what's being pounded. i tell you what I really believe. I think all of this helps him. Because I, I think at a certain point, I, th I think there's a tipping point where good people in this country, I guess the deplorable people in this country, um, get a belly full of it and say, you know what, this is all sort of, this is all sort of beyond the pale. It's going a little too far. And, and the thing that kills me about this, Neil, is that Donald Trump uh, losing $900 million in taxes and then sort of getting out of it legally is a scandal. But the New York Times doing something illegal is not a scandal. And at some point, either we wake up or this country just goes right down the toilet. But do you think it shows a double standard there? What are, I always yes. tell people, whatever your opinions are, Donald Trump, uh, that was his company, his namesake. Uh, if we had substituted Donald Trump for Apple or Cisco or General Motors or Caterpillar, companies that also had eye-popping losses in given years, um, we, we wouldn't look twice. We, these are things that happen. But obviously, maybe hey, because he's running Neil, for president, uh, we right. look at it, right? Hillary Clinton did, did, did the same thing for, well, when she had some losses. Her State Depart Department lost $6 billion of our money, and nobody seems to give a wit about that. This guy lost his own money and then rebounded because that's what this country is all about. My father went through the same thing, not at a billion-dollar level. He lost everything, my dad. And he didn't ask anything from anybody picked himself up and he kept going and raised raised three kids and a wife and did he write and, off and those losses I'm sorry did he write off those losses I was three I don't remember <laughs> I don't remember but either, whether he did or not uh, he, he kept going so Donald Trump lost 900 million dollars and if you're right if it was Apple would anybody be saying boo no but because he's mm -hmm. running for president and because he's a, 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 a Republican which multiplies it by a thousand. If this was Hillary Clinton and she lost nine hundred thousand dollars and tried to write it off, or nine hundred million dollars and tried to write it off, eh, eh, legal, no big deal. She didn't do anything illegal. Do you think he should have released all this like a year ago, and we wouldn't even be talking about this now? I don't know, Neil, yeah. because I don't know what's all what what. He, his, his lawyers were saying to him, I, don't, I right. can't answer that question. I mean, of course, yes, maybe, no, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm not him. All right. And he, he's a smarter guy than me. And uh, I, th I still th I think he's going to win this thing. I really do. All right. Well, you've got a good gut. You were with him when, when no one was. So, Scott Bay, I want to thank you very much. Good seeing you again. Best of luck at Always home. Always a right? pleasure. Say, say again? Best of luck at home. Thank you very much, Neil. Good to see you. Scott Bayo.